Welcome to the wilderness. The wilderness is a piece of content that I believe every player should familiarize themselves with. It will teach you how to assess risk first reward and there is no better way to dip your toes into that idea than with good old fashioned wilderness slayer. So today we're going to go over inventory and gearing setups and where and how to kill every monster in the wilderness. And as a bonus, we'll do some loot keys as well. Enjoy. Hey, how's it going guys? Too Small Paul here uh, with a Wilderness Slayer guide for you all today. And I'm going to be doing all the Wilderness tasks you can do from A to Z. Abyssal Demons to Zombies. And why should you listen to me or anything I have to say? Well, I have 111 Slayer tasks done. And I've opened this big Laren's chest 146 times. And I'm going to show you how to safely get that all done. Easy peasy, no problem. 100% safe. Well, not 100% if you're not paying attention. But if you're paying attention, you should be able to escape 99% of the time. Not a problem at all. Alright, for our first task, we are going to be doing Abyssal Demons. Now, Abyssal Demons are the most dangerous task, probably the most dangerous task you'll do in the wilderness. It's super sketch. It's like getting the convenient spot for world hoppers to log in and check out the black dragons and the abyssal demons and the lesser demons at the same time. And they can get a peek at black demons as well. So it's just a good spot to look for people trying to do worthwhile tasks. Which is okay. Not a big deal. And I and this is the inventory setup I like to bring. I like to bring my royal seed pod, uh, blighted super restores, just two at least, or one full and one with whatever's left over, just so I use up all my super restores properly. And this is pretty much all you need. Like, the great thing about Wilderness Slayer is it will fund you. You don't have to worry about supplies. You don't have to worry about buying prayer pots. You don't have to worry about bringing food. You don't have to worry about any of that. You can just literally just go there and you'll subsist off of it. And then I like to bring a burning amulet to teleport to the Chaos Temple to get there quickly. And I like to bring an Ash Sanctifier to auto spread the ashes so I can focus on looting stuff I care about. And then the looting bag. The other great thing about Wilderness Slayer is your trips can last for until this thing is full and your inventory is full. Like, it's kind of jarring going back to normal Slayer because it's like, the trips feel so much short and you have to completely fund them yourself. It's not being supplied to you. It's weird. It's weird for me now. I've been doing too, too much Wilderness Slayer. Too much Wilderness Slayer. Anyway, let's, let's get out there and I'll just show you the route I like to take. Chaos Temple, and we'll just head right out there. So where I'm standing right now is approximately where World Hoppers like to come in and peek in on you. Because you can see the Black Demons, you can see Lesser Demons, and you can see Abyssal Demons. You can and if you like go over here a little bit, you can see black demons. But you know, we're not here for that. We're here to look at these these abyssal demons. And this is the the level thirty line. This is where if you are above that line, you will not be able to use your royal seed pad. And that, that's that's why I always avoid it. So I'll, I'll attack something and I'll bring it down here. I can't attack these guys right now because I'm not currently on abyssal demon slayer task. But uh, yeah, it's good stuff. This is one of my favorite tasks. Like I've gotten so many abyssal whips, so much prayer experience. Great, great task. Phenomenal task. All right, now on to Ankus. Now we're bringing a very similar setup, and I apologize I didn't quite go over the inventory yet, but we'll do that right now. We're almost gonna bring the same stuff almost every time. We're gonna bring three valuable items, which my th three personal favorite val valuable items is a really strong stab weapon in the main hand, so something like an abyssal dagger, uh, Zimraki and Hosta, uh, rapier, or the, or this lovely thing, the Osmontan Fang, because because it just works on everything. It works on everything out here. Or you can bring a wilderness weapon if you want to, like a Vagoras Chain Mace or something. All great, all perfectly fine. You can all use them on stab. It'd be great for bossing. Anything. They're all good. They're all good. And I like to bring the all the super super cheap stuff besides these three. And you can bring. And I, I do recommend bringing a Dragon Defender as well, or an Avernic if you can afford that. I, I bought mine at 40 mil. They're like 80 to 100 mil now, so I understand if you can't buy that. But Dragon Defenders are also great. Perfectly fine, and you shouldn't lose them. Everything else, super cheap. I bring the Lumber Drink because it gives you run energy, and you can Alk on the fly. Uh, bring climbing boots, monk robes, glory, charge it if you can. I bring the Arty, Arty Cloak. The Arty Cloak is great. It gives a ton of prayer, and it gives a stab bonus, and it's free, and it's not a pain in the ass to get. You don't have to go out of your way to get it, and you can get stacks and stacks and stacks of them. And if you have the Arty Cloak 5, it's only barely worse. It gives plus 5 to prayer and stab, as opposed to plus 6. Because I understand not everybody wants to go for that bare minimum 85 agility. Totally fine. And rune clubs, because rune clubs are just a 
smidge worse than the, like the dragon ones and they're only like 6k like i have a stack of them in my bank like i don't care if i live like this is you know how much i'm risking right now and this is including the inventory i'm risking 27.8k and if we have this on we're gonna have a little risk 15k you can literally if you get any drop remotely so you're refunded completely we do not care if we die we really don't now and so this is the inventory setup you're gonna bring pretty much most of the time and the only time you're gonna make an adjustment is if you need to bring a sanctifier if you're doing like a a demon task or uh so that's about it or if you're doing a dragon task you're gonna want to bring a dragon fire shield that's that's about the, the most change we'll do and we'll, we'll note the changes when we get to them so anyway for ankus same thing burning amulet you rub it go to the chaos temple and uh yeah, they're, and they're just right there in the entrance too. They're pretty easy to kill. And I know, and the reason why I don't bring a cannon, I'm sure you know, it's like, oh, where's the cannon? Why aren't you bringing a cannon? I, so, I have experimented with this pretty, pretty thoroughly. When you bring a cannon, you are announcing your location to the entire world you're on. You can, you can see a cannon like from over there, from where I'm standing, and you will have no idea who's aware of your position. Whereas if you don't bring a cannon, you can go tasks without being unmolested or if you do bring a cannon you will get harassed multiple times per task and yeah and since we're in the wilderness slayer cave we're gonna do almost all tasks we see in the wilderness slayer cave like if we love this place you have an increased drop rate of like laren's keys uh that's the main thing we just increase drop rate of laren's keys and on top of that everything in here will drop supplies you will never ever have to worry about like bringing supplies like i said before it's just good stuff good stuff overall All right, now we're on to Avian Seas. Super easy task. All you do is you go to rewards, scroll down to watch the birdie, and make sure this shit is unchecked. Fuck this task. Alrighty, bandits. I don't usually do this task. It's they're like worth 400 GP a kill. But if you must do them, uh, you can just use the the lovely burning amulet and just teleport to the bandit camp. Super easy. This is also a great way to teleport to the Rev Cave because it's just literally right over there. You just attack these guys. And this is multi-combat, so you can cannon out here. So this is a this is definitely a cannon or skip task. Definitely 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 fuck this cast task. We do we do we do wilderness slayer for the money. Alright, we're here for money, and this is a no money task. Alrighty, bears. Uh, bears is another pretty dangerous task. Uh, Probably definitely more dangerous than Abyssal Demons. You can't teleport out right away. You gotta run south, and PKers love to attack you there. But we are still bringing uh, dog shit risk. Most of the risk is in our inventory, not in our items. So that is that is great. Losing 67k to get like a, in each close of kills worth 100k. And I've gotten two dragon picks off of Callisto, so not a big deal at all. And super easy, especially if you use Vengeance. Great stuff, great stuff. And so this is the inventory setup you want to bring. You want to bring a seed pod, a couple super restores, a super divine super combat, a bunch of food, and we're going to be flinching and using vengeance. So let's, let's, and we want to bring an anacardal teleport. So let's let's just get right into that. Yep, we're going to the deep wilderness. Deep wilderness. We'll get right here. And we're going to try to run, run over here, and hopefully... Ah, oh, fuck, fuck this greater demon. He should be right over here somewhere. You just click over there, and you can get a couple kills of trip with this. Oh, I should probably cast Vengeance. Get that going. Well, this is a great way to jump people. You like teleport, like run and run, super fast. I want to pray. I want to pray. Uh, hold up. We don't want to do this. Done. You just want to uh, drink your super combat, and then go melee and piety, and attack this boy. Yeah. And use your special attack as much as you can. Maybe walk under him a little bit. So far, he's not fucking stuff too bad. I'm sure that is about to change, though. Am I not praying piety? I am praying piety. And we're all statted up. Yep. Wow, he is being very kind right now. I can cast vengeance again. Holy crap. Easiest Callisto kill of my life. Oh, there we go. Now he's doing some damage. Now it is now better to use the uh, Wars Chain Mage, but the Fang works great, and you don't have to worry about bringing like a thousand Ether Risk. Ooh, there we go. There's the uh, there's the problem damage. Ooh. Okay, we're just gonna flinch him a little bit and go back to stabbing him. Oh my God! Uh, do not expect kills like this. This is not a normal kill. Not a normal kill. I barely got touched. 
He'll probably kill himself with vengeance here. Yeah, safe spotting this guy is kind of a a waste of time in my opinion. You can just do this. Oh well, we are we are missing now. Come on, game. Hit him. Yeah, super restore. There we go. Easy. And what do we get? We get nothing. Nothing. But super easy. Super easy. That's all you gotta do. Fucking like, wow, that was such an easy kill. Alrighty then. Now time to do one of my favorite tasks. Black demons. They're just great Laren keys. They're in the Wilderness Slayer cave. And they're a ton of experience. And you never have to worry about supplies with them. Just like everything else in the Wilderness Slayer cave. And we'll just go there the same way we do the Abyssal Demons. Just a little bit shorter of a run. Oh, where did I go? Okay, cool. Perfect. Uh, man, last time I tried to record this clip, I saw a guy who was looking pretty tasty, so so I attacked him. <laughs> it's pretty nice stuff. It's, yeah, this is another thing I like about Wilderness Slayer. It's also a great way to scout for other people who are in the wilderness doing stuff. If you're in that kind of mood, I mean, you'll probably... Once you get comfortable in the wilderness, you'll start to be like, Mmm, I want to attack this guy. And it's fun. It's good fun. You know, you got the loot chest and all that. Yeah, the last guy I killed, I only got 80k off of him, but it's not about the money. It's really not. It's just about just having having fun with it. And I, and I don't blame anybody who wants the PK. I just don't like world hopping that much, so that's why I like doing this. Like, you know, let's just scout for people and everything. And where I'm standing right here is where most world hoppers will check black demons. They will never be able to world hop under you because these things are aggressive, which is nice. It's like it makes this one of the safest tasks in in the game for a wilderness slayer. You just chill back here and attack away, and you will be rewarded. Not a bad task at all. Lovely task. And just you know. Obviously, only bring just a little bit of death runes into here, so that'll cover you for the task, and you'll be you'll be good to go. Alrighty, onto another lovely task: black dragons. The setup is just a little different than the standard setup we've been using. You're going to be using a dragon fire shield, and you're going to be bringing us uh, some sips of extended anti-fire in the inventory. Otherwise, pretty much the same setup, and you can pray melee and take no damage the entire time. And she's going to teleport there the exact same way we usually do is with the good old fashioned burning amulet. I'm really burning through these. I wish these, you could put these into your house in some permanent fashion. That would be, that would be a lovely thing to do. Alright, and here we are. You just take a sip of super anti-fire. Pray melee and then just get in here. You won't you won't take zero damage. You can really eat like literally all these tasks are super easy. And you should come back here a little bit. It makes it a little harder for people to come telebonk you and stuff, and you'll have a, vi a visual of this area. And this is also an aggressive task, so also a very safe task as well. Pretty easy to stay under the level 39. Uh, great great stuff, great stuff overall. Gonna be uh yeah, here. I don't I don't think I've ever ever done this task it is a <laughs> black knights is a dog shit task but we'll we'll just we'll just go through a theory of how i would possibly do this task i would t use my wilderness slayer four sword because i did i did mining that sucked mining sucks and we'll just teleport over there because it's cool frack it Up here they are. Tons of them. Multi, per, multi, fucking combat. You can cannon them. They're really. Let's see. Let's see what they drop. They drop anything good? Yeah. Do you drop anything good? You 42 HP piece of shit. Okay. Get fucking yeeted. Oh my god. The fang missed. That is bullshit. This game sucks. Tomato seeds. Yep. Yep. This is a cannon or skip, boys. Fuck this task. Alrighty, uh, blood builds uh, are only worth doing if they're mutated blood builds in that uh, uh, Mortania place or in the catacombs of Corinth. Neither which is in the wilderness, so this is definitely a uh, skip. I did one blood builds task and it was horrible. It's just nothing happens there, and it's just the the wilderness God Wars dungeon is just I don't know, super uninteresting. You think it'd be cool like the the normal God Wars dungeon, but it's it's just not. It's not where it's at, boys. And so we're just gonna... Oops. Oh, thank God I can't drink stuff like that in the wilderness. Or outside of the wilderness, whatever. 
But the fastest way to get there, I believe, is through the cemetery teleport, which I just happen to conveniently have in here because I like doing clue scrolls. And there's a ton of clue scrolls that send you there. You just run east from here, and I should you should be able to. Yep, there it is, right there. And I didn't bring any armadillo protection. I just brought the zami protection and the ceridoma protection, and I brought these. And my risk is 33k. I don't know why that went up. That's fine. It's still still pretty low risk. Let's go in here. And, ah, look at this. Look, it's, it's, it's such a tiny area. I think I think they would expand this. That that should be something on the on the table for up, updating the wilderness, making the the god put a boss in here or something. I don't know. Look at this. Yeah, as long, the armadillo the guys are up here, so you don't need to bring armadillo protection. You can just run over here. Yeah, they fuck those bird dudes. We're not doing it. This, we're never doing avians. But this is where you can kill blood. Well, you can you can bounce between these two. Pretty easy, but it's it's garbage money. So do it. Up to you, but uh, I personally skip it. You get so many Slayer points from the uh, from Wilderness Slayer that there's no point not skipping this one. Now this is a cool task. This is one of my favorite tasks because you can literally just bring no supplies. All you do is you pray, ma pray mage and rigor the whole time, and you just stay there until the trip is done. Like fucking great task insane task and I usually bring this is this is what I recommend if you're just starting out bring black dragon eye and stuff personally I would bring a bofa and a crystal body and then bring an arty cloak but I understand that stuff's kind of expensive so we're just gonna go with the cheaper option instead and I'll just show you do it it's super easy you just teleport to the chaos temple like we do just a shit ton of times and like oh man this, this is like easily one of the coolest and you can bring a cannon to this but yes you will you will out yourself a little bit just like with other tests but um not a big deal. Pretty mage and figure and you just run over here. And you can literally stay here forever. Just shoot stuff. Like if you need to recover and you do no supply task. Literally no supplies. This is why wilderness slave that well, you are using arrows, but if you were using a bopa, literally no supplies. But uh that's that's expensive. That's expensive. But this is not expensive. Look at this. I'm not even on a slayer task. And yeah, you hook these guys up pretty good. And if you had a cannon, it'd be it'd be even faster, and you could literally stay here the entire time. And if you ever need prayer, just click right there. It's just incredible, cool, and fun task. Just can't can't say enough good things about this task. Easily one of my favorite tasks. All right, confession time once more. Uh, just like Black Knights, I have not really ever done a Dark Warriors task because uh, it's a dog shit task. No money, no money at all. But in theory, we will just for shits and giggles go go check it out. Just scope out the place. Teleport to Bandit Camp. And the Dark Warrior Fortress is right here. And uh, let's see, let's see what's going on over here. Let's see if we can do it. I don't even think you can put uh, a cannon inside here. And even if you could, it wouldn't be worth doing. Because it's like, there's like three Dark Warriors per room tops. Maybe there's a good room in here to do this. Have a good good look around. Maybe they have like a like a Varrock. I should know, but I don't. This is a yeah. This is a dog shit task. A purgatory of a task. This is this isn't even a cannon task. This is just a skip. Skip this fucking shithole task. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Alrighty, Dust Devils. Anytime you get a like a Slayer specific monster like Dust Devils or Abyssal Demons, and it's in the Wilderness Slayer cave. Lovely money making task. You will get a shit ton more Larian's keys. They like have a boosted drop rate to get Larian's keys because they're Slayer monsters, and then an even further boosted increased drop rate because they're in the Wilderness Slayer cave. So you're gonna get a couple keys a task. It's incredible, incredible, lovely task. Just mm. chef's kiss, chef's kiss, boys. And here we are. Fucking super easy. You can totally can this task is a great task to can. You just you will out yourself and you will get caught in like 10-15 minutes. Or you can uh, do what I do and attack one of them and drag them back here and just kill them in this back area. And you'll almost never get caught. My buddy, he was trying to PK me and he thought like I wasn't in the wilderness lake cave because he wasn't willing to just spend a little extra time to come all the way back here. Because you just chug through so many uh, stamina potions when you do that, and wolf hoppers do not like chugging stamina potions, I find. 
So I, I've literally done multiple tasks like this and just never ever been caught or found even. I even saw a guy getting PK'd over there. You can see the fire surges from a distance of that guy just getting wrecked or radiated. And he, the reason why they caught him is because he had a cannon. So, fucking good task. Good task, boys. Alrighty, we're not going to stress about this task too much because this task is a fucking block. Fuck this task, it's somewhere in the Edgeville dungeon, and the only reason why I'd want to go do that task is to get PK'd by framed. Fuck that task, just block it. I have more confessions to make. Uh, I have not really done any tasks either. They're pretty straightforward, you just teleport to the Chaos Temple, and you run north. And I don't know, just never never seemed worthwhile to do. Pretty pretty bad task. Who would see see look there's one right there. We'll just go ahead and attack it. See see what he drops. See what's going on over here. They're pretty high highish woodcutting because I got the current diary done. So that's nice. I guess I should probably speed this up. Probably bother to do some stuff. Yeah. Kill this thing. Yep, more ants over here. And we have like some annoying unicorns. Okay, go over here because it's a safe spot. Nope, nope. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, this is a fun task. At least it's multi combat, so you can probably cannon it. But, um, yep, skip this task. Fuck it. Stupid task. Alrighty, once more, we have come up on another block task. Fire Giants. Terrible, terrible ass task. They are only in one place in the wilderness, and that is in the deep wilderness slayer dungeon. Or, not slayer dungeon, you don't have to be on a slayer task to do this, but they are all the way out here in the middle of fucking nowhere, and you will get killed out here. Completely not worth doing. Wilderness slayer is all about assessing risk versus reward, and there is a shit ton of risk and not much reward. So, the block list, uh, you know, the nomination for the block list pretty much explains itself there. Moving on. Alrighty, Greater Demons, another favorite task of mine. It drops hard clues, lots of layers keys, good experience. Basically, barely different than Black Demons. It's, it takes a little bit longer to get there, and, that, and the tasks are even the same size. It, they're basically the same task, just in different spots. You just run up here, just like you. That's just like always. It's a bit of a trick. Oh shit. Okay, hold up. Hold up, we're gonna world hop real quick. Yeah, see, that guy has a cannon over there. And that guy just probably got fucked by that PK that just logged in under him. Yeah, this is a pretty safe task. Uh, they're aggressive, so you, you can easily, if you're in the back corner, like I uh, keep showing you guys, uh, you can pretty much just be safe the entire time you're doing this. Easy XP, easy money. Great task. Another great task, green dragons, you bring the exact same setup as you do for the black dragons. You're going to be bringing your anti-fire and your dragon fire shield, and you're just going to teleport to the chaos temple, just like normal. Uh, weird thing about the green dragons, though, is there's two spots to kill them, so if one's crowded by bots, which the first spot usually is, you can just skip right up to the second spot. Here's the first spot, just... Super, they only have 100 health. They die really quick. They can also drop some clues, which is great for me. And they also drop lots of clearance keys. And we'll head up to the second spot over here. And here's the second spot. Both pretty good spots. Pretty, both are probably equal. It's probably the first one's better. I think they got rid of the bot farm that was there for a while. So you could sh probably should use the first spot. But if the first spot's taken, not a big deal. You can just use this spot. Great task. Ah, uh, Hellhounds, another lovely task that drops hard clues. Now normally, Hellhounds are a dog shit task, unless you're doing Cerberus through Duradale, or you're doing Konar Slayer and you're getting Brimstone Keys. This just is like, super version of Konar Slayer. Just the same stuff with you do with Greater Demons, Black Demons, and Abyssal Demons. You bring a Sanctifier, and you just teleport to the Chaos Temple. It's, uh, it's also just in the Wilderness Slayer Cave, so we're gonna get a boosted rate of, uh, Larian's Keys. So, good stuff. Good stuff overall. Love this task.
All right, and here we are, hillhounds. Just, just start clicking away. Just pray melee and click away, just like most wilderness slayers. Literally, wilderness slayers super easy. Like, shouldn't be afraid of it at all. And it's a bunch of money. It's just easy money out here, boys. Another, another fantastic task. All right, strap in for this one because this is an extraordinarily dog shit task. Do not do this task. It has a low waiting, so you can totally skip. But we will head out to a location where you can check him out. Just, just for the shits and gigs of it. We'll just, just, just say hi to him, I guess. Because they're only, they're only in two spots in the wilderness. They're in the, uh, the shitty hunter part of the wilderness, like over here past the Lahren's chest, or way, way deep in here. There's like six of them in here. They spawn in here. Yep, right there. Six of them. They're not worth doing for the same reason fire giants aren't worth doing, but at least they have a low task weight So you don't need to worry about blocking them or nothing like that Shouldn't be too bad So yeah, let's see if we can see. There's just a random level 100 out here Killing killing stuff. Right, there's one and I think the other one is right over here Yep, yep, and it's multi-combat at least so you can cannon two of them. Yeah, totally worth doing. Nope. Just kidding. Fuck this task. Here's a task actually worth doing, it involves giants. Ice giants. They're in the Wilderness Slayer Cave, so boosted Larian's Keys rates, and you get access to the, the LMS drop table. And so, n nothing nothing to hate here. I sometimes skip this task just because, like, it's probably the worst Wilderness Slayer ta Cave task. It's just, I don't know, they, they have the lowest value drops. Everything else is just better money. Everything else in here is just better than Ice Giants. Ice Giants are definitely the, uh... If there's there's gonna be a kid that was gonna be bullied by all the other monsters. It'd be ice giants, but that's fine It's still a, a fine task. You can cannon it Pretty good pretty pretty easy to kill low level Super good task. It's in the, if it's in the wilderness slayer cave. It's a good task. You should do it Totally do it good stuff Speaking of insanely unfortunate tasks ice warriors ice warriors are a pretty pretty easy block they are Tremendously bad, just on just just on the moon levels of bad. They are either here or here in super deep wilderness where you can't get out easily. That seems worth doing. Nope, they're only worth 400 gold to kill, and they don't have anything cool in their drop table. Fuck this task. Now jellies are a task you should get very excited about. I don't know what it is about jellies task, but I always get a shit ton of fucking Laren's keys from them. They're just super quick to get to, super quick to kill, and they drop a bunch of money. This is a great task. I just I love this task. Just can't, can't say enough good things about it. And here they are. This is the only place they're gonna be, and they're just gonna drop a bunch of hard clues and Larian's keys. Lovely stuff. If you're not on a Slayer task, you can't attack them. He goes, you know. But uh, we we forgive him for that because this task is great. Alrighty, Lava Dragons. Another, oh, just, ah, I love this task. Just good, good stuff. Just also, make sure you bury the bones while you're out there, because they get, like, a, the four times bonus if you bury them on the lava aisle, so I don't know why people actually take Lava Dragon bones out of there. Just bury them while you're out there. Not a big deal. This is the stuff I like to bring, and we are only risking 29k. Not bad, not bad. And we're wearing all this stuff, because you will, you will get PK'd out here. <laughs> For sure. For sure, this is not like the Wilderness Slayer dungeon where you can cave, okay, where you can hide and stuff. You are going to get scouted and you are going to get PK'd out here. This is why, anytime there's a situation like that, like with Lava Dragons or Revenant, you're going to be bringing the Black Dehyde and have your Quick Prayer set up for Augury, protect from item, and protect from magic. And here's the inventory I like to bring. And yeah, good stuff. And we'll be bringing Ad and Carl Teleport and let's get out there. Now, you can bring just like the normal anti fire shield, not the big boy anti dragon fire shield, just the. Just a little shield, just a really super cheap one. But I'm pretty confident with Praying Mage, so that'll mitigate most of the uh, Fire Dragon Fire stuff. So not a big deal. Helps you get in position. And this is, they're just right over here. Now let's see if anybody's over here. You can go the Vedian route and take the, uh, the Agility Shortcut, which, do get that. That is a good good shortcut to have. And also get the Hard Diary done so you can use it. It's uh, just good stuff to have. Also lets you get more Lava Dragon Scale Shards, makes the task a little more profitable. Yeah, you just pop this bad boy open. It looks like that's a good sign if this is if you don't have to open that. Just run over here. I like to go back here because I know I can escape over that way and a lot of Pika ears don't have this agility shortcut. And you just come back here, just dodge them, and you can just pretty much just stand right here and be good to go. You can just kill this one, 
and then kill this one over here. Super easy. Great, great task. Lots of plenty. Usually, you get a decent amount of money from this one. I believe we get elite clue scrolls as well. Good, good stuff. Good, good old-fashioned task. All right, another task that's pretty much a clone of the Greater Demons and Black Demons task is Lesser Demons. Super easy task, super quick. No clue scrolls, unfortunately, but uh, still a good task to do in the Wilderness Slayer dungeon. Boosted, boosted uh, Laren's keys and all that good stuff. And uh, pretty straightforward to get to. I've done it already, I think. Oh, fuck! Oh, wait, no, it's just a low-level PK. We don't care. We just got scouted. It's fine. It's already got... I don't know what he's doing over here. He's probably killing Chaos Druids or something. We'll see if we get PK'd. See if we get PK'd. And here they are. Just like every, almost every other fucking mob you do in here, you just pray melee and just go to town. And you want to be up here in the back corner so you have plenty of reaction time to PKers and world hoppers and stuff. And yeah, just, just chit, sit back, have a listen to a podcast or something, and nab up some Laren's keys. Good task, good task. Alright, here's another task you will never ever have to worry about, and that is magic axes, because we are going to be blocking the shit out of this one. Horrible, wretched task. Absolute travesty of a task. It is only all the way up here. This is the only place it is. And, uh... They drop iron axes, battle axes, every time, which are worth 95 gold apiece. And, uh, oh man. Remember that risk risk reward stuff we talked about? Yep. Dog shit ratio there, boys. Block this shit. Alright, here's uh, another task I've never really done, but I know how to do it, and I know it is good ta it's a good task for XP, but that's about it. Doesn't drop any money, other than Laird's keys. And, uh, you can cannon or skip it, but I'll just run over there just to show you where it's at. Not a big deal. It's like they're right over here. Just right over here, real close. Uh, Ferox Enclave as well. Let's see here, what's, where, where are you? Where are you, you bad boys? You big. There should be a mammoth boss. Oh. Yeah, there's Ferox Enclave. Wait, oh, is this Ferox? Yeah, this is Ferox Enclave. Yeah, this should be right over here somewhere. Probably should have just gone to Ferox. Yep, there they are. Right here. Look at these big boys. They are very, they're beautiful, aren't they? Look at them. Look at these high tech quality, well textured models. They definitely don't look like just giant piles of shit. Not at all. Yep, just, uh, can't under skip. Good stuff. Alright, Mossy Giants is actually a task worth doing. Like, especially if you want to get those, uh, moss keys. Great stuff. Just, uh, from what I can tell, the best way to get to them is just do this canoe stuff, and you can just take it all the way to, to, to just all the way out there, it, like you go right out there. And I swear to God, my brother keeps talking. I'm going to murder him. Uh, yep, Wilderness Pond, all the way out there. Let's go, yes, I don't care. And then we'll get this little animation. Man, this looks like dog shit. Yep, and my cat is meowing. Good stuff. Good stuff. And here we are. Oh, God, there's a PK right there. All right. Yep, uh, hmm. Yep, this is a great place. Just set your cannon up up here, and I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, now for one of my favorite tasks in the entire game, neck reels. God, what a fucking, just an insanely profitable task. Just shit tons of layering keys, fucking superiors, uh, clues, hard clues, uh, and you just... Bring, oh, I forgot to bring my Ash Sanctifier. But you'd bring an Ash Sanctifier for this, otherwise there's ashes everywhere because of the little demon spawns and stuff. You just want to clean up the clutter to see what's going on. And yeah, other than that, no, it's just a fantastic task. Uh, it's in the Wilderness Slayer Cave, and so just crazy amount of Laren's Keys, crazy amount of loot, just and great Mage XP. Like, my god. Just, I have never, like, done, ch like, chinning or... Oh, there's a dude over here. Hold up. Let's have a look at this man. What is this man doing? Should I attack this man? Well, I'm also not on the ancient spellbook. That's fun. But in theory, you would be on the ancient spellbook and you would be casting stuff at neck reels out here. In theory. In theory. But yeah, great task. Love this task. Easily my favorite task. You can cannon this and burst it at the same time with Barrage. It just, oh, you can just power farm these things. 
Ah, uh, glorious, glorious. And on top of that, they'll supply you the whole way with all the food and stuff you'll ever need. Glorious task. Alright, I'm not gonna bother to gear up for pirates, cause that task fucking sucks. But I will show you where they are. You should just skip them, cause this is, this is why you should skip them. Cause you have to go all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. And they're like, I believe they're locked. Here's Ice Warriors, another great test to just never do. They're just like way over there somewhere. And we'll just, we'll just scoot along. Yep, and this is where pirates are. They have less than 300 gold value per drop, and they have a 1 in 1,074 chance to drop Laren's keys. Fuck this task. Now, unfortunately for this, I will have to flex on you a little bit. I do have a, uh, a Bofa, and I'm going to be using it. With uh, This is going to be my setup. I'll be risking 150k. We're doing the Salvi Mammulet, so the Avarice. Uh, this is how I like to do revenants. If I'm not gonna skull up, I'm gonna skull up and we'll bring the full black dragon hide and a short bow imbued. Just fuck it. And that's totally acceptable. Whether the avarice is sick, it's absolutely worth bringing an avarice, just so you know. Just make sure you got uh, one of these boys, and we're gonna be. We're gonna be praying, protect item, protect mage, and rigor the whole time. So, because someone will come in and probably TBS during this video. I might actually die. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But we'll get a couple kills in. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Here we go. And I usually like to kill the Oryx. That's my favorite ones to kill. We should have a good old time doing that. But there's somebody here already killing him. Oh, yep, there's a guy below piping. Hmm, I guess he's bouncing between them a little bit. Let's see here. Is that a pier? That is a pier. Hmm, interesting. Oh, here we go. I do this. See if we can actually hit decently. Oh yeah, we absolutely can. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Oh, incredible. Wow. I might fight back for PK jumps on me. We just might do it. Have to do it. Wow. That was incredible. What did we get for it? What is? What are we rewarded with? A blighted restore right off the bat. Damn. Damn. A two. Is that two? Oh, I'm just. Oh, this is just a ton of fucking food in here. God damn. Okay. Whatever. We got the blighted restore. Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> wow. Oh, this setup. I'm going to kill another one. Holy shit. Let's go. Damn. Damn, brother, you are slow at killing shit. You know that? Hmm. Ooh, vengeance sacks. I actually use those. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Oh, my God. Why have I not been doing this before? Holy crap. This is like my first time using this setup. I am, uh... <laughs> I am an idiot. I am an idiot. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, stealing. Stealing. Damn it. Uh, I would attack that man if I could right now. I would. Oh wait, I kept to wait a second. I'm okay. There we go. Damn it! I want to attack that one. Oh my god! For sure, if I get revenants again, this is the setup I'm bringing. Holy shit! Holy shit! What a lovely, lovely time. I'm doing rogues, and uh, as I'm sure you can imagine, this is another dog shit low value task that's super deep in the wilderness. And guess what? Guess what? We're gonna do. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna skip this task. But I'll show you where it is, and I'll show you how to get out of there pretty quick. If you get like a chaos druid test, you just use your wilderness teleport sword. And even if you only have like the wilderness tele uh, sword three, and you only got the one teleport a day, that's probably all you literally need if you're doing a day of wilderness slayer. Like, uh, you, you don't, I, I definitely don't just spam use this to get to the Fountain of Rune all the time. Not even remotely close. And I should have probably recharged my glory. Well, hmm. We've already come too far. We've come too far. But this is where the Rogue's Castle is, right over there. And this is also how we're going to get out of here is with this, with this Ahir Obelisk. So it's not, it's not too bad. You will have to tank for a while if you get caught out here. Also, but there's also these great, like staircases and stuff so you can just start attacking the, the level 15 rogues and just pray melee like that or you can kill the big boy rogues either one whichever whichever you're feeling say it's tickling your fancy not a, not a big deal easy peasy not a, not, a, not a hard task at all but just uh, not worth doing because it's just low value as shit and if you you should definitely get the hard get the hard diary, the hard diary done as quickly as possible so you can just teleport around the wilderness all you want it's great Great stuff. And you can just get out of here just like this. Good. It's just good to be familiar with this place. Just, just get really comfy out here so that you don't have to worry about stuff. And you don't get scared. Like, I know when you get attacked by PKs and stuff, it just makes your heart pump for some reason. That that just shouldn't happen. 
makes you panic and makes you makes you die. You need to be you need to be a smooth criminal, boys. And this is this way. Would you spend lots of time out here doing wilderness layer? That'll help. That'll help with that a lot. Just just, help. You just need that exposure. That's all it is. Alrighty, let's do some scorpions, and we're just gonna go do some good old-fashioned Scorpia. This is what I'd recommend wearing. You got your three risk items right here, and then super cheap everything else. You got ice axe and stuff for ancients. We're gonna just hard cast that shit. Good to go. Good to go. And use the. I'm using this wilderness teleport sword a lot. I really recommend getting the wilderness sword for it. Is nice, but definitely not required. Frack you, bruh. Yeah, we'll just skip over everything. <laughs> oh yeah, this is uh, way less damage than last time. Oh, and he's dying much faster this time for sure. For sure, this clip is getting cut. Oh yeah. Yeah, suck it. I will power damage through the the healers. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Maybe we'll see if we can do some damage to these boys. Oh my god, a zero. Oh, he's got to get healed up to full. Oh my god, this game sucks. Shit. Can we not? Can we not, Scorpius Guardians? We don't want to do this. They should have one health like the Zora Snakelings. Oh lord. <laughs> I am a master at this game. <laughs> Masterful. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Don't touch me. Don't, don't, don't fucking touch me, bro. Yeah, you just sit there and you die. I'm gonna kill this thing real quick. <sighs> oh! Shit! Sir. I need you to, to cease. Stop, do these things actually have mage defense or something? Oh my god. Ah! Dog shit video game. What the hell? Stop it. It's still healing. It, it, this better not be like Jad, where if they get back to full health, it'll, it'll re get healers. Uh, I've killed this boss. I have all the combat achievements for this boss. I don't know why I remember. I don't remember shit. I've literally, I literally have all the combat achievements done for this boy. Pretty easy, if we're being honest. Like, it took, I did it all in one trip. Oh, wait, it didn't freeze! Satanic game! Jagex is made by Satan, it's founded by Satanists! Ah! This is proof, this is proof. Okay, well, I guess he's not healing, at least. That's good. That's good. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, fucking sick 20. Pet. Oh, my god! Fuck this boss. Oh my god, I hate this place. I hate this place. Get me the fuck out of here. Somebody kill me. Is there a PK out here? Please kill me. Alright. Uh, now at least we have the wilderness thing. Look at that. See, energy. Boom. We're good to go. God damn it. Alright, now it is time to kill Vedion. We're risking like 100 something K in ether plus. 30k risk or 50k risk in items, I guess, unless we get uh, protect from item off. Then 40k. It's mostly in supplies, though. Not a big deal. I have actually I usually just use uh, an abyssal bludgeon for this, but I'm gonna try out the chain mace. I'm feeling feeling frisky today. Gonna fucking slaughter the shit out of this boss, boys. Let's get it. Well, we'll do the safe spotting method, I guess. See how that goes. Let's see, we just find him over here somewhere. Yep, there, there he is. Come here, big boy. Right this way. Yeah. Then we just chill right here until he stops moving and wait for him to stop moving. All right, yep, he stopped moving right there. So we're gonna run over here, and he's gonna come to us over here. Come on. Did I fuck this up? I probably fucked this up. Come on. Come on, big man. Let me just run over here. I believe. Oh yeah, we screwed it up. We screwed it up. I didn't wait long enough, so we'll just try it again. Not a big deal. Hey, big boy. Over here. Yep. Come on. I need a little more patience on my part. I gotta literally wait for him to stop moving. Oh, 
Alright, then we just run over here, I believe. He should just follow us all the way over here. Perfect. And that's it, I believe he is safe spotted. We didn't have to use too much. <sighs> yeah, that's about par for the course. Right, well, at least we're in level 31 wilderness. And we can teleport right out. Easy. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's how you do skeleton tasks. Not bad at all. Good money, bossing. Alrighty, for spiders, spiritual creatures, and zombies, that's a pretty easy two block tasks in a row, and zombies are only weighted at three, so don't do those tasks. I tried to kill Venonatus, a uh, horrible boss. I don't know why her fucking defenses are so fucked up and so high. The boss reworks can't come soon enough. Literally, wretched nightmare of a time. Fucking as bad as the cow fight queen, at least. At least. And definitely don't do spiritual creatures. You're just gonna block them, like I'll show you. Just blocked. Spiders, spiders, and spiritual creatures are blocked, and for good reason. Wretched tasks, absolutely wretched. And zombies, they're not so bad. They're just like up here or something, and they're weighted at a three. They are worth no money, and there is no reason to kill them unless you're trying to get like a a, a fucking one of those champion scroll things. So anyway, time to move on to bigger and better things. Alrighty, now time for my favorite part of Wilderness Slayer, and that is some fucking Laren's keys. I'm gonna show you how to get out there and grab a bunch of shit. Usually I just get when I have five Laren keys, I'll go out there and just get a get them in there. But we have 28 right now, so we're gonna use all of those right now. Just as a little like loot opening for you guys at the at the end of the video. It, just like a little reward for watching all of it. I'm sure some of it was kinda dry, and I apologize for that. It's just some of these tasks fucking suck, so. My apologies for not being able to bring up the bring it up to snuff on that, but anyway, let's go get these fucking let's get this fucking loot. Yeah. Oh my god, I got a fucking Dagon eyepiece. Holy shit. Let's get this let's get this all out of here. Holy fuck. That's my fourth Dagon Wow. Oh my god. Holy shit. God damn it. Okay, let's see what else we can get. More more Dagon eye pieces. Let's go. Oh wow. God damn. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. So much steel bars too. Holy fuck. Come on, more loot, more loot, more loot. Get some shit put away. Put that in there. We'll go. Fuck, if I got PK'd right now, I'd be pretty sad. Pretty sad. Jesus. Oh my god. The loot. The loot, boys. It is coming in. The loot is coming in, boys. Oh my god. The dopamine. Mm. Oh. Oh, lord. Alright. Can we get another Dagonite piece for the last one? Alright, nope. Oh, nice. That was sick. That was actually incredible. Let's check the inventory. Five mil. All right, not bad. Oh, not fucking nice. Fucking damn. So what's the bank value at now? So six. Oh my gosh. Couldn't go. Oh, good stuff. This is why I love Wilderness Slayer. Ah, oh, you guys have a good day.